Welcome back to Gen Zen. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host, back in the studio with another episode of Gen Zen, a psychic call in show offering you practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. We here hope to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. I, I want to invite everyone out to my next Angel Night, which is this Wednesday. In fact, it's tomorrow, Wednesday, December 17th at Barhaven at the Prince of Wales Manor from 7 to 9. Cost is only $10 and a great way to get a, an energy zap and a tune up. Talk to your angels, get some messages. Uh, $10 at the door. would love to see everyone out there. We've been having about 100 people every month. So if you want to come, please join in the fun. Go to my website, jenniferclark.ca to learn more. I'm so very excited to have my first teacher on the show. Uh, she was on earlier this, this season. She's back again as the last show for 2014. I always want to bring the best, you know, for the 2014-15 area. Um, Julie Demerite is a Reiki master teacher trainer. She's one of the best in the city as a holographic energy worker, as an intuitive clairvoyant uh, teacher trainer uh, she really really helped me and changed my life uh, and m thousands of people since then um, she is here today offering you uh, intuitive advice we're talking about the magic of Reiki and how Reiki as a hands-on healing modality can change your life Julie Demeray welcome back to the show I'm so thrilled to be oh here, I'm Jennifer. always happy to see you uh, as a friend as a colleague and here today as a guest to let everyone know you know how good you are and what you're doing thank you I was having a psychic event in my life I heard a voice and you were the first person that told me, hey, Jen, you're okay not to worry. You know, this is just what's happening. Tell us about you being that first person for so many others. It's not just me. I mean, I can name 10 people right now that I know you started. Uh, when did the first voice happen to you in the terms of, a, you know, an interesting experience? And then tell us about how you help others sort of navigate that transition. Oh, my God. I think I was 20 years old at the time. And as clear as you're sitting there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had a vision of an angel. Mm, wow. And I thought I was going crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, I have to say, you never forget an angel encounter yes, for yes, those people yes. out a there. A divine intervention. A yeah, divine yeah, intervention. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the angel told me that I was to start a center, a mm -hmm. healing center. Mm -hmm. and even uh, then, even at, the, even at the beginning. Yeah, wow. yeah way back when. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot that. Mm -hmm. I told very, very, very few people mm -hmm. because I thought maybe I was going. <laughs> Were you open to that kind of experience at that time? or I was open to holistic health. Right, right. And loved every, I was passionate about everything holistic. Mm -hmm. But and I had not experienced Reiki uh, uh, or hands-on healing or right. anything and like that. And how did you find Reiki? Because, you, again, you are one of the most senior and, I think, best Reiki teachers in Ottawa. Uh, what started you all on the path of Reiki? Well, uh, many years after I had the vision from an angel, I had started uh, practicing reflexology. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And for fun. Mm -hmm. And I met a woman named Deva Sparks, and she had a little center in Elmer, and she invited me to come and work with her. Nice. And I decided that, hey, this had been a lifelong dream to go and start a center. That's mm -hmm, what mm -hmm, the angel mm -hmm. said I was right. supposed to do. So I went off to Elmer and I started doing reflexology. Mm -hmm. And Eva insisted that I learn Reiki. Nice. And I said, oh, no, that's too woo-woo. I'm not too doing that stuff. I yeah. said, I'm so empathic that when yeah. I touch people, right. I pick up their pain and their grief. And, and she said, oh, no, Reiki's not like that. When you, when you learn Reiki, you mm -hmm. learn how to connect with the energy of universal life force, right. which has an unlimited supply of energy. Mm -hmm. So you're not using Draining. your personal right. energy. Right. And let's talk about Reiki, because we have some visual aids with you today, which is great. Yes. Um, so the Reiki symbol behind you is this, the, the, the ray and the key. Talk about Reiki being a Japanese word. What does it mean? So the ray, the top part of the symbol, represents universal life force. Mm -hmm. And the bottom is key. The bottom is your personal energy. So when you work with ray key, you are bringing the energy of the divine mm -hmm. into your own energy system. Right. So now you're not running out of your own energy. Mm -hmm. You know, supposing we only... It's heaven and earth, really. It was what yes. It, it does. Yes. Yes. Right. And imagine we only had 100 energy dollars a day to spend. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know about you, Jennifer, yeah. but I can go into yeah. it. Nine year gone. Yeah, nine year gone. Pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah. 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 So with Reiki, once I learned Reiki, it was so amazing because Reiki fills you with this, yeah. this extra it energy. You up. Right. And it enhances your natural gifts, talents, and abilities. Mm -hmm. So my gift of see sight yeah. opened up, right. and I started seeing into the human energy field. And again, your Reiki sessions are really good. I'm a Thank client, long-time client. Thank In fact, my whole family's clients of yours. Uh, you see images, impressions, deceased loved ones. You see our aura. You see 
spirits, angels around people animal as totems. animal totems. So a real treat for someone, not only getting an energetic balance for themselves, but also an intuitive reading or impressions that come that are really, really useful. Yes. And actually you were on regional contact way back when. What I was. When date was that? That about? was back in 2000. Yeah, right. Wonderful. Again, uh, we're here talking about Reiki with Julie Demeray. We're going to be taking your calls. Marion, you're on the air. How can we help you today? Hi. Um, Hi, Marion. I have a uh, strained relationship with my adult son. And I'm wondering if um, it's going to get better in the next little while. Uh, okay, so I'll take that first, Julie. She's got adopted son, strained issue. Okay, strained relationship. My, my sense is Mother Mary is around you, Marion. Um, actually, your namesake. Um, she's showing me the April month of April, pardon me, which to me is an Easter rejuvenation concept. Whether your uh, uh, you know, faith is based on Easter or not, it's a concept of renewal and rejuvenation. So my sense is that um, you may have to kind of walk a rocky road for a while, but around April, it seems to get better. Um, Marion, uh, sorry, Julie, uh, can you coach Marion on how to use Reiki or the principles of Reiki to improve her situation with someone who's not maybe willing to yet change or shift? How could Reiki help? Well, actually, I'm getting a vision. Yes. Uh, Marion, of um, a burden on your son's shoulder. And I'm getting the impression that there's something heavy that he's carrying from his past. And in alignment with what you said, mm -hmm. I think he's going to need some time to work it out. Yeah, he's an angry little pup right now. Uh, so, you know, with all due respect, uh, but... Um, but back to Reiki. Mm -hmm. Reiki is... It, another way to talk, uh, to speak of Reiki is Reiki is the power of the divine. Whether mm -hmm. you call that divine God, yeah. prana, chi... Yeah. Um, Source, Creator, Allah, Buddha, Jesus, Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah, yeah. There's a thousand names for God. Yeah. So when you, so you don't have to have a Reiki class. Right. When you call in, yeah. Source energy, mm -hmm. and ask for for prayers, ask for support. That energy will come. Yeah. And support you. Yeah. And Marion, I have um, what I give my clients is an what's, what's called an oversoul prayer. Again, I, when I use the word prayer, Marion, it's it's a word that's generic to me. It's it's a process, if you prefer. Um, send me an email. I will send you the process to do. It will really help move things along in terms of making, uh, you know, uh, compassion and understanding and forgiveness come back into the situation. All you got to really do is visualize your, your adopted son. Send him love. You've heard me talk about this show on the show many times. Direct pink fire healing energy, which is love to your son. Uh, do the ho no pono healing uh, exercise. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You do that for a few minutes every day. And really within seven days, you'll get some kind of experience or something that will prove that there is a healing in the relationship. Perhaps a text message or a Facebook like. It could be something very small from his end but it, it will kind of show you that things are moving forward so so try the you know positive thinking put positive energy and love back in the situation exercise and around april is when we see it happening yeah. all right thanks Great. for your call yeah. and you know what jen bottom line for me when yeah. i teach reiki it's the power of love right love heals everything awesome jonathan you're on the air how can we help you today hi jonathan are you there yeah oh are we, do we have jonathan no. Okay. So if we can call up the next caller. Um, so when people are in discord, we're in the holiday season, Julie, um, you know, chaos for many cultures is hitting the fan. <laughs> uh, stresses of lots of things, right? You just try to go get groceries and you can't even get into the parking lot these days. How do people remain calm? Like what, what principles of Reiki, uh, like do no harm, you know, those, uh, the Reiki prayer that you teach. Um, yes, just um, for today. Right. Could you I just kind of talk about that for a second while we get another caller? Just for today, I will not worry. Just yes. for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will honor my teachers, my parents, mm -hmm. my elders. Right, Just which is tough. Yes. yes, yes, especially at yes. this time of year when, right. we're, when we're stressed out. Right. Just for today, I will um, show gratitude to all living things. Right. So in It's a very sort of Zen application of being <sighs> one with everything and letting things flow. Yes, there's a yeah. whole section in Reiki teachings about disciplining of the mind. Right. The first part is we connect with the divine, with our source, whatever yeah. we call that source. Right. And then we have to discipline our mind of the stresses and the strains. I call that yeah. kiki. Yeah, good. Reiki is when we're connected. Kiki is when we're disconnected. Right, so hopefully stress. we're connected to a caller here. Jimmy, we got you before break. Jimmy, what's your call? How can we help you today? Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy, do we have a caller? Do we, do we have Jimmy? 
Yeah, okay. So kiki is when things are disconnected. Um, so your mind goes cuckoo kiki. <laughs> So when we're fearful, when we're upset, when we're angry, when we're losing energy. Mm -hmm. So again, imagine you only have a hundred energy dollars a day mm -hmm. of your personal energy to right. spend. Well, right. when we're stressed out, we can lose a hundred, we can use th lose three hundred dollars in one right. minute. Mm -hmm. So by calling on Reiki, mm -hmm. our source energy, yes. again, again, by whatever name. The universal whatever. The universal All. life force. Yeah. That has an unlimited supply. It fills you it up. It starts to fill us up like a balloon. Right. Wonderful. And Flip. lightens us up, literally. Let's see if we have a caller. Do we have Jimmy or Jonathan? No. Okay. Do we have any callers? No. Okay. Uh, we've got some phone problems tonight. So, um, unlimited life force, Ray Key. Um, talk about the founders. This is uh, the book for Hawaii Takata. She was one of the North American uh, you know, proponents of it because it came from Dr. Usui in Japan. Yes, so there were three... He was a math professor. Yes, there were three grandmasters. Mm. And um, the original story is that he was, a t uh, he was a teacher and one of his students came up to him one day and said, do you believe that Buddha and yes. Jesus could heal with their hands? Mm. And he said, yes, of course. And they said, prove it. Oh, nice. And he couldn't prove it. Right. So the story goes that he traveled around the world and studied different languages uh -huh. and mm -hmm. found this, the, the key to healing. Mm -hmm. And then he passed it on to Dr. Hayashi, mm -hmm. a naval officer in Japan. And then he passed it on to Hawaii Takata. Who was in Hawaii. Who was in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And she was very, very ill yeah. and went to Japan to seek healing. Right. She was actually on a surgeon's table wow. and heard a voice that said, there's another way. Mm -hmm. And she, act, imagine, she's prepped for this operation. Right. She hears there's another way. <laughs> what does she say? Doctor. She, <laughs> she gets off the table and goes to the surgeon <laughs> who's wondering what the heck yeah, is yeah. going on here. And um, she says, there's another way, there's another way. And he says, well, yes, actually there is. Now this goes back to uh, wow. early uh, 1936. Oh, 36. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so he says that down the street is the Hayashi Clinic. Mm. And so now she's escorted to this clinic where there are many men in kimonos um, who are doing Reiki. And the doctor told her to do this. The doctor told her to do Lots this. Lots of divine interventions on that operating room. Yep. So this is one of my favorite Takata yeah. stories. Yeah. And so she's on the table and there are several men with kimonos and they're doing Reiki on her and she can feel buzzing oh, wow. coming through their hands. And so she, she was sick enough to be on a surgeon's table. She was very ill. Then, yeah. then divine intervention got her to a Reiki temple. It wasn't a temple. Well, it was a, a, a space, right? Uh, and, and she was healing. Healing center. Wow. Yes. So now one of the stories is that she pretends to... Oh, uh, uh, oh we're going to break. Sorry, Julie, and to interrupt, uh, stay tuned with more here on Gen Zen, and hopefully we'll have the phone calls ready to go by the time we get back. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to Gen Zen. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host. This is a psychic call-in show offering you practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. We're hoping to put the soul back into solutions, one call at a time. I'm here with my guest, Julie Demeray, one of the best Reiki teachers in Ottawa. Uh, her website is juliedemeray.ca. Um, I just could hear sort of people in the studio uh, threw me off there, Julie. And uh, Julie's given away a wonderful uh, uh, gift certificate. Uh, this is a lovely pink one, by the way. I love this. A one-hour session with Julie. Again, the number to call is 759-8622. Uh, we're going to give one, one away. Uh, you have to come into Rogers to get it, so please, if you can't come into the station, let it pass to someone else. Julie, um, we, we we're talking about Hawaii Takata and her story. We have to kind of wrap that story up quickly because we have the phone lines back on and we've got nine people waiting. Yes. So Takata is so on, she's the on the table and she clinic. feels all this buzzing mm -hmm. and she's wondering where the wires are. Mm -hmm. So she pretends to drop a tissue out of her sleeve um, and she gets off the table and she's looking under the table for the wires. She sees oh, no she's wires. Sensing. Okay, wow. So now she looks into their sleeves thinking that there's wires in their sleeves, but there are no wires. This right. is the energy yes. of source wow. coming through them. I never knew that story. I'm a Reiki master myself and I, I've never knew that story. Well, because she's so sick, her body is just, yeah, just pulling sucking in, in which is the good. energy. Which is good. So let's see if we can get someone energy today. So Jimmy, thank you so much for waiting. You're on the air finally. How can we help you today? Hi, hi Jen. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> you know me. I called you before. Oh, yes. I recognize your voice, sir. How can yeah, we help? Yeah, good. Uh, Jen, I haven't met this girl yet, and I'm wondering if I'm going to meet her in December or next year. Well, my sense right now is it's the energy starts to build in December. Are you still doing social dances, yes, community I'm stuff? Yes, I'm going to dances, yeah. Yeah, okay. So my sense is December, January feels like a, a moving forward energy. So, so think of it not so much when am I going to meet her. Like, again, I know that's tricky when you are single. You have to kind of be in the flow. When you think things are moving forward, just even if you're not actually getting the thing you're looking for, but positive signs in the universe, acknowledge what is happening. Are you making more friends? Are you being acknowledged as a person? Are people complimenting you, you know, offering you support? Like these are the signs of love around you. So my sense, Jimmy, is the preliminary work of love. It's working, it's magic literally in your life. So, so know that the end result will be a relationship, a human person, you know, um, okay. that is romantic. Well, Jimmy wants to know about love. How can Reiki, you know, what principles or what tools or tips can you give Jimmy to sort of focus on that as an object and, and, and attract that into his life? Well, I would suggest to Jimmy that you call in ideal divine love, ideal divine, your ideal divine compliment. That way oh, you're like letting that. the energy of source, the divine energy, bring that to you versus trying to make it happen. Right. You're letting the universe support you. So it's like a, a positive happen. thinking, Jimmy, or a prayer or an affirmation or a mantra. What, well, Ju what Julie is saying is call in universal help to get it done so that you have the best choices possible coming forward. Well, I'm, d I'm doing all that, Jen. Uh, the answer to all your questions is yes. Oh, like, good. I go on right. the dances and I met three girls. Oh, but wow. It didn't work out. But that's so, okay. You know, but but you're meeting it's girls. It's positive, like... Uh, Yes, uh, you know, positive, positive. Beep, positive. Beep back, I guess you want to call it? Yes, yes. So acknowledge the signs that are around you when you are getting um, um, signs of your thing being accomplished. So stay faithful, Jimmy. Stay positive, stay social, and stay open. So, and, and let, so you're telling me like it's, it's, it, uh, she's coming like... Uh, yeah, I'm getting right now the month of March. Personally, I don't know what month I told you last time. I'm feeling the month of March as of today. But I want you to use the holiday season as a social way to interact, connect, and, 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 and share your light with the world. You oh, know what that, I mean? That's what I'm doing. Like, yeah. I mean, it, it's just like... Uh, but you're doing the right things, Jimmy. So, yeah, yeah, so don't do, panic. I'm doing, all, I'm doing all those things. Like yeah, that. keep going, though. Keep okay. faithful. And keep checking in with us. <laughs> thanks for your call. Okay. Thank Happy you, holidays. <laughs> Anne, thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you? Hi, Anne, are we there? Yes. Hi. Yes. How can we help? Hi, Jen. Hi. Um, the, the past three and a half years have been very, very difficult oh, for me. Oh, I'm sorry me. to hear that. And um, I'm just wondering if you see a change uh, coming, a good change coming for me. Yeah, but here's the question I'm getting back to pose to you. What are you going to do differently to get the change to happen? So without you doing anything intentional or overt, my sense is June is the logical course that this cycle is going to pass through. However, you personally are the creator of your own, you know, destiny and your own drama. So you can do, you know, positive thinking, uh, uh, prayer, meditation, acupuncture, Reiki, uh, cord cutting, forgiveness. There's so many holistic ways of getting yourself into a better mindset. Mm -hmm. um, my sense, if you do nothing, though, it's June. If you do something, it's March. 
Julie, what are things that she can do to get herself shifted back? I mean, other than getting a Reiki session with you. Uh, you're also teaching uh, Reiki uh, to the general public uh, in January, January 17th, correct? January 17th, Where 18th. people can check it out. Yes. Wonderful. And, On my and otherwise, uh, what, what kind of tips and tricks can we give Anne? Again, ideal divine, calling in the divine. For support to help ideal with problem divine solving support, or ideal harmony. Ideal divine problem solving, ideal divine healing, ideal divine, whatever it is you're needing. And I call it in ideal divine. So then you've got the whole universe mm -hmm, working you. on your side. Yeah, you're my not trying to do it by yourself. It's, it's, since I came back, I had lost my husband three and a half years ago. And I moved back to Ottawa from the Maritimes. And it's just been one crisis after another the f family members and just it's just it just doesn't let up it just yeah so you worse. you may be under caregiver stress you know you may still have to grieve the loss of your husband you may still have to process things on your own so are you taking care of yourself is there anybody supporting you are you taking time out of your day to fill yourself back up these are the things that can help you you know balance the energy around you out it's an internal conflict that creates an outward experience so the more you can work on the inside, the outside changes. Mm -hmm. So I know it's hard when other people's problems land on your lap, but sometimes you've got to say enough, I got to work on myself or I got to take a nap or I can't help you or you know, my 20 bucks is my 20 bucks. Whatever it is, there's boundary issues. So I do think, Anne, The Secret of the Shadow, which is a book I really recommend um, uh, people in your situation read. Uh, it's a wonderful book to uh, understand why things are happening around you because you're the problem and the solution. Uh, there's another wonderful book that adds on to that. Uh, it's called The Age of Miracles by um, Marianne Williamson. Oh, yes, I so read that So someone one. for your group, like in your, in your status, I think this will be a beautiful book for you to get. Um, as a way of working through to a, a healed outcome. Again, my sense is right now June. I tell you though, you can do a lot more with no disrespect uh, to the challenges you are juggling for yourself. Um, again, come to my healing night, December 17th. Julie's teaching Reiki. Um, start to you know, read one of these books and see how you can shift your mindset so you can set yourself on a, a more healed and balanced outcome. It's okay. coming, but you gotta do some work to get there. All right. Thank All right. You. So be be well and good luck and happy holidays. Thank happy you. Happy holidays. Yeah, Anne. Crystal. Thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you? Hi. Um, Hi. I have been in limbo for a couple of years. Okay. Um, just job wise and personal growth wise and what what have you. And I was just wondering what you saw in the new year for me. Well, there's going to be a kickstart in March, and here's where I don't think it's going to be a positive necessarily experience. Negative experiences or challenges can actually propel us to change in some way. My sense is there's going to be a dip, like I'll call it a challenge, uh, around March that will, in the end of it, get you back on the right road. It will cause you to uh, like overcome your apathy and your depression and move into action. Something needs to happen to you, Crystal, that's a life-changing experience. I would start with positive thinking, forgiveness, cord cutting, reading a positive self-help book like we just mentioned, getting a Reiki treatment. Uh, Julie Demaray is one of the best in the city. Uh, you know, I do my angel nights uh, for the public uh, for $10 to get people sort of interested in this type of stuff. It's, it's something has to kickstart you to start thinking and doing and reacting differently. My sense it's coming, but I don't think it's necessarily a greatly positive experience. It's not going to be a, a hugely negative one either. I don't want to scare you. It just means like a challenge is coming that's going to start the ball rolling. So try to think positive about that. What would you say As about that, As you're sharing Julie? this with Crystal, yeah. I'm seeing a, a moose. Right. What does moose mean? Moose is known for his lusty, loud bellow, proclaiming his love, his passion for life, mm -hmm. confidence, power, self-esteem. So move and ability forward to move things, right? confidently, Crystal. R right. Right. So Google the animal totem called Moose Crystal as another uh, message for you. It's, 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 it's about you taking action. So what can motivate you to take action? Try to figure that out for yourself. You also are working with the angel Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel is about relationships, uh, writing and uh, prophecy and destiny. So this is a very good sign. But I think that you just have to move through action more concretely in your own life. So good luck with that. We hope that helps. Happy okay, holidays. Thank you. Yeah, you too. thanks for calling. Thank Vic, you. thanks for calling. How can we help you today? Yes. Hi, Vic. Uh, my name is Vic. Yes, hi. Hi. I uh, love your show. Uh, well, thank thanks you. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, uh, thank you for calling. Uh, okay, thank you. I lost my wife two and a half years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be a third uh, expert without her. And uh, I just uh, 
don't know what to do. I, I, I sometimes I go to uh, bars. There's only twenties and thirties there, and I want yeah. to know what should I do in the future as far yeah. as romance and should sure. I try so, the internet because that no. So right away, Vic, I'm being told by, um, I want to say it's an uncle of yours or it possibly is a brother that died young. First of all, did you have a brother that died young? Not my brother, no. But no. somebody just died in the family, yes. Okay, well, that person is talking to me um, and saying that you need to go join a, 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 like a Civit 10 club, a legion, a community center, a senior center, something that's local, something that's close to your heart. And my sense is that you are a very loving, you're a big teddy bear. People love you around. You're very helpful. You're very engaging with the public. They, yes. want, you, they want you serving the public again. And in your volunteer service, uh, I see a lady uh, connecting with you. You're going to start having tea together. And then you're going to start going out for meals together as friends. And then you're going to realize that you're actually dating. So it's going to be a very soft and loving soul. The new woman is a very soft and quiet, but funny and engaging personality. Uh, so I, think so I should be, volunteer. Well, volunteer, and again, for your peer group, right? So do things that you love to do. Um, are we going to break? Yeah, two months. Okay, so two minutes, Julie, for Vic. What should he do for love? Well, Vic, I'm sensing a, a little tear in your heart uh, chakra, which, which is, is the grief. center of love and mm -hmm. compassion and forgiveness. And... And so bring, those ha bring your healing hands to yourself. When you're going to bed at night, maybe say a prayer, connect in however you connect with, with the divine, yeah. by whatever name you call the divine, and lay those hands on your own heart and bring healing into your heart. And that will help clear the grief and just open that heart up. And um, it'll help you draw more, more love to uh, you. Am I talking to a commercial or am I talking to a real life person? Live person. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. so well, I do that, but what what kind of volunteers should I do? Well, is there a local community center? Is there a local senior center? Do you belong to a church yeah. or a legion? It's something like that. I can't tell you which one uh, directly, but it's something that's local. It's something within your sphere of influence right now. Okay. Yeah. So, so be open to that and go. So, so ask the universe. Show me every day. You say out loud, Vic. You say, show me. And then, and then follow the signs and follow the lead. And uh, what, what do you see in the future for uh, next year? What, what do you call uh, the month or whatever? Like uh, I went to Psyche before and he said uh, May and June or maybe be it for me. But Well, in terms of romance, I see April. Uh, oh, other, you're close. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what they were talking to you about. So, you know, I'm getting April. So good luck with that. Be well. Have much love for 2015. Happy holidays. Okay, same so, to you. I love your show. Thank you, dear. So uh, we got to go to break. Uh, stay tuned with more here on Jen Zen and Julie Demery. Hey, how are you?
back to Jen Zen here on our last show for 2014. This is a psychic call-in show offering you practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. We're hoping to put the soul back into solutions one call at a time. Want to give a shout out to everyone who's interested. Come to my angel healing and message night tomorrow, the last for 2014 in Barhaven at the Prince of Wales Manor from 7 to 9 p.m. Cost is only $10, free parking. Check it out on my website, jenniferclark.ca. My guest today is Jennifer, uh, excuse me, my guest today <laughs> is Julie Demeray. I'm Jennifer, she's Julie. <laughs> uh, she is giving away a one hour reading with, oh my God, her. And this is like prime real estate in my community. Mm -hmm. uh, again, give us a call at 759-8622. We've got one to give away to a lucky caller. Uh, you have to come to Rogers to pick it up. Julie Demery is here offering us information about Reiki and offering us intuitive advice. Your Reiki class, January 17th and 18th in Ottawa. How can people find out more information about if they want to learn? Um, it's all on my website. Right, juliedemery.ca. Excellent. And what kind of people are coming to Reiki classes these days? Because there are more Reiki masters in Ottawa oh. than there are in the world. So we're a Reiki town. Whether people understand Reiki or not yet, it's, it's a Reiki town. You know, I've been teaching for 18 years. Wow, Consistently, wow. every single month, a one, then a two, and then a three. Month, Wonderful, like one, love it. Two, three months yes. in a row. And more and more men are coming. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, represent Adam. Younger yeah. people. Nice. Oh my God, I've been doing Reiki. This summer I did Reiki for Little Masters. To Kids. About 10 different children. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Like it. So, so lots of people who are interested in just lots expanding. Lots of people. Love it. All different groups. So speaking of people, we've got Jonathan. Jonathan, you're on the air, sir. How can we help you today? John, yes, Merry Christmas, Jennifer. Merry Christmas. How are you, sir? Great. Um, I wrote down my question. Yeah, so you forgot it. <laughs> No, I, I haven't forgotten it. Um, uh, I would like to know what you sense is coming my way manifestation-wise mm -hmm. in my entrepreneurial life. Oh, okay. Uh, what level or degree can I expect to enjoy? Uh, I don't fully understand the question, but my sense is whatever you're trying to do will come around... Uh, May and June. Is there a contract coming or a gig or a project or an opportunity coming, uh, money coming to you? There's something, yes. a, a client there are, or... There are, many pro there are many projects involving... Okay, well, in the pipe, the one I'm tracking is May, June. It feels somewhat lucrative uh, and substantial, so I think you'll be happy. Uh, and I think it'll lead you to other things. So I would just keep, you know, a hustling and doing the entrepreneurial dance of you know, due diligence, cold calling, networking, social media, whatever your, however your industry works. Uh, my sense is the, the fruits of your label will be revealed in May. Uh, Jonathan asks about, um, you know, projects, money. I chocolate. totally concur with what you're saying. Right. Uh, when he asked the question, I had an image of him with a hammer. Oh, nice. Nail by nail by right. nail, Getting step by step. Just keep going, the stay down. in action. Stay in the zone, stay in the zone. So Jonathan, what kind of entrepreneur work do you do? I'm in the financial arena, financing. Right. So either of projects, yeah, of various projects internationally. Yeah. So either it's an investor, like a whale, or uh, you know, venture capital, or it's like you know, big money coming. You know, so so I sense you know, focus on your top five uh, best clients, or the or the projects, or the customers or companies you want and go after it that way. I think he's going to nail it. Oh, he's going to nail it. I like it. <laughs> I love it. Right. Jonathan, I good love luck it. with that. Be well and let us know how it goes. Love the an analogy. Yes, thank you. And the same to you. Yeah, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yes. Sandra, thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you today? Hi there. I have Hi. a quick question yeah. about my job. Do you see a change in my work or, uh, or my job in the near future? No. Uh, do you want one? Yes. Yeah, are you are you gunning for it? Have you applied? Have you you know done yeah. competitions? Okay, mm -hmm. my sense is if there's a no, the 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 bro the one you're talking about is delayed, or someone else will be picked. And okay. my sense is what you're really looking for is around July or August. Okay, so good. so near future in the sense of yes, but not immediate future. You get what I'm oh. saying too. So so stay the course. So even if you get a no or you get um you know um zoned out of the competition. Just keep going at it because it will actually, uh, you know, come to fruition, but later in the uh, 2015 energy. Sandra, work, what do you get? I'm getting a huge bouquet. Oh, nice. Congratulations. That's a good sign. Uh, abundance, growth. Bouquets, uh, Sandra, can also mean springtime because flowers bloom in su spring, summer. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm getting July, August. Julie's getting sp uh, flowers, which is symbolic of that time frame as well. Uh, okay. Also, it's a symbolic of congratulations. So I do think the question is answered. But okay. I personally don't think in the timeline you want it in. So hang no. tough. Hang tough. Okay, will do. Okay, and don't lose thank course. You. Yeah, thanks okay, for your call. Okay, thank you. Diane, thanks for waiting. How can we help you? 
Yes, hi, good hi. evening. Um, I guess my question is, um, uh, with my career, should I stay in my field, or is there something else that I should do, or really anything else that you might sense for me? Well, there's always something else for everyone. Let me just be clear about that. But to your question, I do see that two reports up or two direct reports up leave. So there'll be room for you to grow that you can't yet see. So are you in a hierarchical structure at work or something? Like, do you, um, have, a, do you have a boss who has a boss and that kind of thing? Yes. Yeah, so I get a sense that two up are leaving or promoting or retiring or I don't know what, that will then create room for you to grow. So I would stay the course right now. I wouldn't leave for the next at least eight months. I wouldn't okay. try to leave. I would look at your skills, your passions, your purpose. I would do all that kind of stuff. I would read the book, Live the Life You're Meant to Live by Dan Millman. We have a picture coming up for you on screen right now. Um, it's a wonderful book about life purpose, which will also give you clues, Diane, about you know where to redirect your focus. Because even if you lose a job, quit a job, you know, walk away from a job, there's always another job or another purpose to do. So right now, though, stay the course because something um, that you can't see is going to open up. Julie, what do you get for Miss Diane about work? Uh, jumping off a diving board. Oh, right on. Take a risk. Jumping off a diving board. Excellent. So are you uh, nervous about moving forward in the corporate or whatever you are, the, the, the organizational structure you're in? Um, I was just wondering if there was maybe something else I should be doing instead. Well, the word should is loaded. You should be living your purpose. Most people have a job and then they do their purpose outside of work. You know, um, in this moment, the should is stay where you are okay. and work on your purpose. Do you understand okay. what I'm getting at? Like keep the job, do both. Passion, purpose, self-interest, self-development, that kind of thing. Read the book though, uh, Diane, it's a, uh, it's a hoot. It's a hoot. Read the book, live the life you're meant to live. And I'd say if there is something that's calling you, dive in. Right, yeah. So is there anything right now that pops in your, like what does dive in mean to you right now? Um... Yeah, I, there's nothing right now that yeah. I, I so read the book doing. first okay. to get a sense of your interests and what this book suggests that they might be. Then stay the course at work and do both is what we're trying to tell you. Okay. All right? Anything else I can look forward to in 2015? Uh, a happy life. That's what I just got. I know that sounds funny, but I got happy life. And I'm oh. getting buffalo, which is a message yeah. of follow the easiest path. This right. is not a time to push or force. This yeah, is a just time allow. To allow. Yeah. Follow wonderful. the easiest Google path. buffalo as an animal totem. Okay. All right, Diane, be well. Good luck. Okay, thanks. Thanks. And thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you? Yes, hi. I wanted to see if you have any feeling about um, my career. I have a bit of a sense of mistrust with the company that I'm with. Uh -huh. uh, there was a bit of an incident, and that was about a year ago, but I can't seem to shake that feeling. And I thought I'd wait it out until the new year, and I just wanted to see if you had any feeling about it. Well, my sense is the universe is going to give you a solution around... August or September of 2015. So I never am a proponent, I'm a risk manager first. I tell you, keep a job until you have another job, okay? And, or something else happens. Um, so my sense is that there will be a joyful experience that allows you either to, to get out of this workspace, like I don't know if it's a, a new job or a new company, but it's a joyful exit strategy. So my sense is just keep focusing on the, the feeling of the right job for you Mm -hmm. whether it's in or out of this organization. So what are the qualities? How does the right job make you feel? Focus on that while you're navigating the train you're in. Don't quit, though, is what I'm, I'm getting told. Okay. And what, what do you get for Anne? I'm seeing a puppy. Right, a puppy. So loyalty, fun, play. Playfulness. Right. Be your own best friend, Anne. Yes. So, you know, I, do I think long-term this place is for you? No, but right now it's, it is what it is. This is a situation of is what it is. Right. Do Once you think, it, though, that my, my feelings about mistrust are warranted? or I that? think the management style is not something that I would be congruent with. So okay. I'm a BS barometer a mile away. I like truth and transparency. I don't necessarily think this organization has that. Right. Um, and that's a, it could be two people. It could be one person. You know, it doesn't mean the whole organization is tainted. But unfortunately, when leadership is like that, you, you kind of got to realize there is a, maybe a defined space that you have to navigate. My sense, though, again, the universe is going to create the space for you to leave. Okay. So joyfully focus on what kind of work workspace do you want to attract into your life? Work on that as a positive thinking or a pre-paving or a visualization. Okay. Be well with that. And thanks for your call. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Marie, thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you? I wanted to know about my health. 
Yes. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm getting a jumble jumble of information. So are you having tests done or something? Uh, yes. I suffer from fibromyalgia. Okay. That's the jumble. So I, I, I just keep getting back to basics. Like first I want you to consider asking your medical doc. First of all, I'm not a medical doctor, so I cannot diagnose, uh, you know, any or cure any disease. Number two, I would like you to ask your medical professional about getting an allergy test for food. I want you to look at food intolerances. I've, I've already done that. Okay. Have you eliminated the food? Yes. Okay. Then I want you to work on grounding and perhaps working with a cranial sacral therapist or a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Um, that will really help your body realign itself quicker. That helps the medical system do what they do. What do you get from Marie and fibromyalgia and her health? Uh, Marie, I'm seeing... Oh, a Reiki would help. I mean, your sessions would really help her. Yes, yes. And I'm seeing a blockage in the back, just above your heart chakra. And, you know, a lot of... Uh, in my field, people believe that fibromyalgia is connected to frozen fear. Is there oh, something wow. that you're, you're afraid of right now? Uh, particularly around... Heart is heart, ache, heart. Though, betrayal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is, there, is that ring a bell to you in your life? Yes. Okay, so doing forgiveness, getting a Reiki session with Julie Demaray, and you know, or any other Reiki practitioner, uh, bringing really hands, will help. Bringing hands, yeah, to, bringing your hands to your own heart, doing forgiveness, the Ho'oponopono healing prayer. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. These are ways to, to support a disease like fibromyalgia in a holistic way. So try those tips and techniques and let us know how it goes. Okay, thank Be you. Be well. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Oriana, thanks for waiting, dear. How can we help you? Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, Julie. I called in a few months ago, and I actually, for the first time, um, met Julie about 19 years ago. I don't know if you Oh, my God. Cool. Julie. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm calling, I guess, a few months ago. We discussed my, my depression and um, my sort of being at a loss for for direction um did you get I, the book though live the life you're meant to live no yeah that's the first thing actually julie was the one who told me about that book so many moons ago <laughs> dan millman the life the you dan were born millman. to live yeah okay. yeah yeah um so it's a book that i want you to start with okay you can okay. get it uh just sit at the chapters and do it for free you don't even need to buy the book uh okay. forgive me dan uh and then you know it might be time for you to go see julie again or come to my uh healing night uh this wednesday at Barhaven. it's about getting you a shift an energetic shift so okay. that you can start see clearly and think clearly there's too much uh, i get too much cloudy energy around you um which could be uh, gluten and milk so you might want to get allergy tested as well because clouds can mean stagnation. We've got one minute f left before, um, before break. Solar plexus, Oriana. Uh, I'm seeing the back of your solar plexus. It's a bit out of alignment. Your willingness okay. to uh, trust. Stand up for yourself, right? Yes, personal power, boundaries, um, self-esteem, self. It's really taking care of yourself. So, Oriana, we're going to go to break. Uh, again, I hope that helps. We'll read the book, The Secret of the Shadow, as well as a compliment. Uh, okay. Again, thanks for your call. Be well for 2015. Okay, thank you. Stay tuned for more here ladies. on Zen Zen with Julie Demery and Jennifer Clark.
Gen Zen. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host, a professional spiritual teacher, hoping to put the soul back into solutions in your life, one call at a time. Here with my guest, Julie Demeray, a Reiki master teacher trainer, one of the best teachers in Ottawa, I will be honest. And she's a personal friend of mine, my first teacher. She is here to give away one hour session with her, an intuitive Reiki session. Woohoo! 759 8622 is the number to call. One caller will win uh, over the last couple of days. You have to come to Rogers and pick it up. Julie, welcome back to the show. We've been just sort of Thank hitting you. the mark with clients. Uh, sorry, callers. Leonard is back. Leonard, my friend, I'm waiting for your question. Yes, so first welcome of all. Welcome back. First of all, may I say that I believe in what you do. Oh, good. Because I think we are more than biospheres. Yes, Leonard. I love it. You, we are, and you're correct. And I, the question is, yes. what can you tell me about a uh, creature in black with a lot of teeth that appeared when I was sleeping? And it seemed very real. Okay, so were you, uh, were you asleep at the time, Leonard, or were you Yeah, but it woke me up. Huh? But yeah. I said a prayer and it went away. Yeah, so here's where there's two schools of thought and they're both right. Um, one, it could be an outside force, you know, trying to mess you up, like a gremlin. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have our own gremlins. So we're, we call them, you know, the ego states, the entities that live within us. So m my sense is... Um, I would just, at night, Leonard, for yourself, is um, ask Archangel Michael if he's part of your mythology to surround you in blue light. It's the color of the color of my dress. It's very cobalt blue. Um, ask him to protect you while you sleep. See, Leonard, in many lifetimes, you were a wizard. You were an alchemist. You were a druid. So you actually can do what I do. Um, in this lifetime, you're shut down, though. Your body shut down, your finances shut down, and your love shut down. So the more you work on forgiveness, the more you work on getting rooted and connected and being open, the more of your magic will come back. How can the magic of Reiki help Leonard really stand back into his power? Well, calling on ideal divine power, ideal divine love, ideal divine finances, right. pulling all that energy down from the divine. And Leonard, I really want you to look up uh, the totem Black Panther. It's all about the heroic quest, and I think it may really speak to you. And Saint Germain appeared as the Black Panther to um, uh, Baird Spalding, uh, sorry, um, Guy Ballard back in the day. So, so the Black Panther is very symbolic. M my sense though is, uh, again, just surround yourself with the blue fire, the healing energy. And uh, again, working on developing your spirituality and your awakened self. So Leonard, even if you are stuck in a chair or stuck in a bed, uh, we've talked to Leonard before, you can still do this type of work. Do you understand, Leonard? Just keep your mind open, keep your heart open, and keep connecting to heaven and earth, whatever you perceive it, or sky and earth, um, and things will get better for you quicker. Well, I think you're already getting better a little bit, too. Good, good. Well, I'm, I'm happy to have helped in a small way. Again, we welcome your calls. Uh, we got to end for today, though, so be well, sir, and happy holidays. Okay, thank you. Happy holidays. Uh, Art, thanks so, so much for waiting. How can we help you today? Yes, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Okay, now the preamble to my question yes. is, is that we're into a long, um, there's a Shemitah year that's coming up. It sort of started on the 24th, like it's, it's a Jewish a seven year yeah. Sh Shemitah, which okay. goes from 1967 to 49 years into the future. Oh, wow. And it's sort of like coming up to around this time, and I'm just wondering... If I can, I'm not a practicing Jewish person, but yes. I mean, I, I study a lot of the, that faith. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm trying to find out if it is time, like it's a time of forgiveness, closing debts off, yep. forgiveness, every all these things. Now I'm just wondering, there's going to be quite a correction coming up, I know, in Janet Yellen's world of quantitative easing. I'm just wondering if I'm going to get some kind of a break. Okay, the thing is though, Art, you need to be in receiving mode to receive. So you have to practice letting go of the past through forgiveness mm -hmm. and, and, and sort of sitting with your mudra or your hands open in meditation and being open to that. So I agree with everything you've said in terms of the cosmic cosmology. Right. Um, it is like the Christians would call it the age of Archangel Michael, this, you know, 10,000 years of peace. Um, having said that, there's a lot of discord that has to happen. So we have to all purge. What we're all doing right now is purging our, our or we're shifting. So your job as the, as the micro to the macro is to work on your own issues. Uh, again, we talked in your past about your childhood. So I, I still want you to work with your inner child work and right. working on your childhood events. 
how could Reiki help him with his childhood events um, to help him receive in this age of forgiveness and moving forward? Oh, it would help clear a lot of old grief, a lot of old pain, a lot of stagnant energy that's right. keeping him so stuck. So hands on his heart? Hands on his heart, yes. Yes, again, visualizing either the purple fire healing energy art or the pink fire. These are right. two sort of good standard uh, frequencies. They're called uh, royal rays or, or divine rays, if you will. It's really the rays of the rainbow. Um, that will help you balance out. So my sense is you need to receive more to, right. to take advantage of this sort of cosmic shift. And what about the buffalo? Yes, what about the buffalo? So Julie read that on another caller. Do you connect the buffalo? Would that apply in my situation? What, what, what animal totem do you see for art? The bear. Yeah. I the thought bear. so. Yeah, I was thinking about that because I was talking to a person on the Internet way back in 2002. And they, they basically, it was a, a child that got on with me in a sort of a neo-pagan community. And, and she, she directed me to this, this entity. So it's yeah, so quite, what we're saying. So, uh, so Art, you've got to trust your inner wisdom. Right, yeah. And so Google Bear, on, uh, again, we've got the book uh, to show you Animal Speak by Ted Andrews. Art, have you ever seen this book? Yeah. Uh, this is a really good book to get as a resource. It's one of Julie's favorites. It's one of my favorites as well. Um, so we, we suggest you look up buffalo and look up bear and see what it may mean to you. So we've got to move on, Art. I'm so okay, sorry. Have a, have yeah. a good Happy year. Happy holidays. Bye -bye. Happy holidays. Thank thanks for your call. Bye -bye. Tina, thanks for waiting. How are you today? Hi, Bear. Hi. How are you doing today? It's Tina. Hi, Julie. Hi. Nice to hear I from you. Frankie with you. <laughs> oh, it's one of your students. Yes, awesome. So what's your question, Miss Tina? How can we help you today? Actually, I want to ask you about my health. I'm having a number of health issues, and I'm wondering if you can kind of direct me into the right healing modality. Well, right away, I'm getting acupuncture, and I'm getting um, food. Okay. So, like, like working with a naturopathic practitioner, yep. doctor. I mean, always go to your medical doctor first. Uh, if they can't help, then, you know, look at, you know, food allergies, uh, food intolerances, or working something out yourself with your doctor's supervision because I'm, I'm sensing there's a food that's, that's irritating your quality of life and that acupuncture would also be able to help. So a doctor of Chinese medicine, uh, an acupuncturist, a naturopathic doctor, these are places that I would point you at. Um, Tina, uh, what do you get for Tina? Tina, I'm seeing a lot of um, stagnant energy around your back, uh, which is the willingness to be in your power in the world. I don't know what's going on in your life, but if there are any power issues going on around money, relationship, career, uh, your environment, it would be really good to have a, a Reiki session as well. And or, or you've got Reiki, do Reiki on yourself to work on clearing that second chakra, that belly chakra. I and again, Tina, it might be a good time to reconnect with Julie. <laughs> yeah. I think so too. That would be awesome. All right, be well, Merry Christmas. good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks for calling. Bye, Irene, thanks for waiting. How can we help you today? Hi, do you see any, um, um, anything positive in the <laughs> near future? Irene, that's a loaded question, my love. What's really going on? When someone asks me that, that's kind of desperate. What's happening in your life today? What can we help shift you? A lot of losses. You? A lot of losses. Like deaths, you mean? Yes. Okay, okay. So... Uh, right away, you get the Angel Michael around you. Archangel Michael is trying to tell you, stay, stand strong, stay hold. People are going through their own processes, even though the, the boat, you know, on the water is rocky right now. Hold on. Uh, you know, I believe personally there is life after death. I do not believe that this physical form is it. Uh, again, my mythology, Ray, Julie's, others believe in that as well. So we're asking you to stay strong. Michael is showing me that by um, March... Uh, or February or March, you're going to start to feel happier about life. Again, work out your grief, work out your anger, work out your frustration, forgiveness, Reiki, uh, positive thinking, books. Uh, things will stabilize quickly. So we've got a couple minutes left. Irene, I'm seeing your, uh, some of your deceased loved ones holding your hand. And I feel like they're just really there to support you and they're gonna help you through this period. So, you know, you're not alone, Irene. You know, loved ones are still around in different shapes and forms. I would read the book, uh, The Shack, or read the book, The Shack, which we don't have a, 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 a illustration of, or other books like talk. Yeah, isn't that awesome? I cried my eyes out. So understand, that was a long or, time ago. Yeah, or, or yeah. watch the movie Heaven is Real. That's a really, really good movie for this holiday season. So be well okay. with that, know that you are loved, and know that things will get better soon. Okay, Thanks thank for your you. call, happy holidays. Okay. So hopefully we have Norm. Yeah, we can maybe get Norm out. Uh, Norm, thanks yep. for holding. How can we help you? 
Yes, uh, I've been uh, out of work for a year and a half now. Okay. And uh, after 28 years of work, and yeah. I was just wondering if if there's any job coming up. I've been working hard trying to find one. Yeah, my sense there's a part-time job coming through a friend. It's not going to be what you want, but you should take it because it will evolve into a full-time position. Mm -hmm. So whether you're desperate and you have to take it, I don't know, but I would be open to part-time work is better than nothing right now. And getting yourself back in a work world, getting your confidence back, getting your energy flowing forward. And because about six months into that part-time job, uh, it becomes full-time. So Julie, for Norm, quickly, we gotta go quick. I've seen the sun. Yes, you know when things be? are going to brighten uh, yeah. up. So, so I'm saying that you meet this friend in March, but that the job comes around June. So, you know, I don't know what you have to do to between now and then or survive, but I'm asking you to hunker down and do what you got to do and, t and take whatever opportunities you can to be of service to sure. others. Okay, great. So, Thank right, you. be well with that. Okay. Yeah. So, again, we've got to go. Um, uh, maybe we can do Kevin quickly. Kevin, we got only a couple seconds to left. Kevin, are you on the phone? I'm right here. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Very good, very good. I was just wondering if you, my father passed away earlier this year. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He's okay. And I also was wondering, um, if anything from my, my past lives are affecting me today. Well, you always travel with your past lives, brother. So, so yes, they're in your face. You know, they're your friends. They're your enemies. So, yes, that's a loaded question. It's a yes. Right now, though, I don't see anybody necessarily negatively affecting you. Uh, my sense is there's um, forgiveness. Is it between you and a brother or you and a best friend? Are you out of sorts with a brother or a best friend? Yes, I am. Yeah, okay, so you got to start to heal that. So this is a message from your dad in the other world, spirit, heaven, wherever you call it. He wants you to start doing forgiveness or being more compassionate, especially the age of miracles. This is the holiday season. Is start yeah. to really dig deep into compassion. So, Julie, we got one minute. Uh, rowing a boat. I see him yeah. rowing a boat. Wonderful. So water Effort. means emotions. Rowing a boat means that you're safe, you're secure, but you're moving forward. All right, so practice forgiveness. Great. I know it's hard. I know. Be well with that. Happy holidays. Thank you. Yes, so wonderful, Julie. We've got only a couple seconds left. Again, let's just give out your digits, juliedemery.ca. You're doing the wonderful Reiki class uh, January 16th, sorry, 17th and 18th. Yes. Uh, people can book readings with you, which I totally you know, encourage you to do. Yes. We've also got the giveaway, 759-8622 is the number to call for a session with Julie. One of the best gifts you'll ever give yourself, by and the way. If, and if you want to know more about my work, check yeah. out um, this regional contact. I've got an eight minute right. YouTube. All the video about you. And a one minute YouTube from when I was on your oh, show. Oh, wonderful, excellent. Well, we're so totems. very happy to have you back Last again. Year. We'll see you in 2015. Everyone, happy holidays, be well. Yes, Our next holidays. show back for 2015 is January 16th or 15th. All right, so see you next year. Happy Thank holidays. You, Jennifer. Happy holidays, everybody. Did you start?